Hi, my name is Charlotte Skiles. I'm a nutrition consultant and clinical herbalist with Eden Peace Wellness Consulting located in Austin, Texas. And today's topic is actually how to become obese. And I kind of appreciate this because dealing with a lot of weight loss clients, this is the flip side of that. So we have an epidemic in this country of obesity. And I have some ideas around that. One of which is our sedentary lifestyle that we, that we lead in this modern world. Our ancestors basically walked, it is estimated, six miles a day. Not many people can say that they walk six miles a day. <laughs> so that would be one factor in terms of how to become obese would be to not move and exercise your body in a way that makes you feel good. The second factor here is the food supply. We have a lot of food in our food supply that isn't food. <laughs> Um, high fructose corn syrup would be one major ingredient in our food supply that contributes to obesity. Um, people drink a lot of soft drinks and the body simply does not know what to do with high fructose corn syrup. It cannot possibly metabolize it fast enough and it simply turns all of it into fat because the body just can't burn things that quickly. And it's not anything that the body recognizes. Um, and what I mean when I talk about non-foods are foods that we cannot find in nature. And that makes up our food supply and that is basically eating those foods is how you become obese. So my recommendation if you want to avoid obesity would be to eat the foods that mother nature intended for us to eat. So basically this means in theory if I can't find it out in nature, pick it from the ground, pluck it from a tree, milk it, even you know kill it that sounds harsh but in terms of our animals that is a food that exists in nature then I simply don't eat it and um, those foods that don't fall under those categories of what exists in nature is how you become obese is eating those foods so thank you that's what I have to say about how to become obese <laughs>